hop brown doesn't really have a really good beefy flavor like brisket does. So you can take your brisket and you can cure it with all the spices and different things, but you still retain that beefy flavor, which is really good. With top round, I don't really think you retain very much of that beefy flavor. So that's why I'm really not a fan of it. But man, this is gonna make some really good slices. All right, folks, welcome back to my backyard. Today we're making pastrami. Now you don't have to make pastrami my way, but you should. Um, I shall digress. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need some brisket. Top round works, brisket's better, in my opinion. So I got a small brisket here, weighs 3.47 pounds. Um, I have some pickling spice that's no longer in here. It's in there. Uh, this is just a basic pickling spice blend. It's got uh, dehydrated garlic, mustard seed, dill seed, dill weed, and uh, whole coriander seed in it which is pretty much what I would put if I ever mix it up myself. So it's just easier to buy the, the jar. And I got some pink curing salt. I have pure cane sugar. I got some sea salt and make sure it does not have iodine in it. Even though it says it's a new, new necessary nutrient, uh, you don't want that for this. So just pure sea salt. Um, you're gonna need some lime flavored sparkling water, watermelon, you're gonna need your pan, some aluminum foil, and right here is the, the pink curing salt in there. Now, what I did before this to save you some time, because I myself don't even want to watch myself boil water, so why would I make you guys watch me boil water anyway? So in this pan, I boiled up, and I did all this by weights, because I don't have a teaspoon measuring thing. so. Everything's by weights. There's eight pounds of water in here. Is that right? No, four pounds of water. Um, equivalent to about eight cups. So I put two pounds of water in here and then I got boiling. I put my seasoning in there. I think it was uh, four tablespoons, pretty much the whole thing. And that's where I'm a little bit different from what a lot of people do. Um, I want to boil that seasoning a little bit to extract those flavors into the water and then I also put in half a cup of sugar, half a cup of sea salt. Got all that boiled up, got everything dissolved. About the time that all the salt and sugar was dissolved, I put two pounds of ice in. Because you don't want to put your meat into a warm cure. It has to be ice cold. And it's now very much ice cold. Okay? So what we're gonna do, is before we do anything we need to add our curing salt I don't boil this on purpose because I don't think and I actually I don't know honestly um, if boiling it will affect it so I didn't so we're gonna add that in two teaspoons by weight it was 12 grams okay we're gonna get that mixed in really good Add it to our clean stock pan here. I got a wasp flying around here. Go away, go away. Get that in. Make sure all the seasoning goes in there. And then you're going to want to open up your package of brisket now I don't trim the fat off this stuff because quite frankly I like the fat so yeah I got a nice thick fat cap on this thing so we're gonna go ahead and get this in into the cure okay good that one doesn't want to float at all We're going to cover it up. Get it all nicely sealed up here.
Now it's gonna go in the fridge for six days to cure. Um, I'm gonna do that in exactly one second, right now. All right, here's the pastrami. It's been curing for uh, seven days. Looking pretty good, it's firmed up really nicely. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it in here on the, on the rack. I'm not gonna hang this one up. Let's put it right on the rack, just like that. And then I'll get you in here and show you what I've got going on. All right, there's the pastrami brisket, fat side up. We're gonna go ahead and get this smoking. I've got the con this time. Got my pan nice and full here. And we'll get the lid on. And get her fired up. All right, um, we'll come back in about a couple hours, take a look at it, see how she's doing. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna smoke this. It's fully cured. You could eat it right now, almost. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it smoked up, get it all nice and smoke flavor. Now, why don't they do brisket pastrami everywhere? Well, it's because brisket's actually worth a lot more money as brisket. That's just it. It's worth a whole lot more money as just brisket. I mean, you look at Cass Deli up in New York City. That's all they use. Now, they they don't do a cold smoke method. They they cure it, and then they do a hot smoke, and then they slice and serve while it's still hot and coming out of the smoker. So they got their own style. But that's just the way it is. And they, they have a kind of a niche in the, in the, in the world of pastrami because they have a... A huge customer base but here's what she is that's what she looks like still nice and red really loving that really good red color there and should be across the green we're gonna go ahead and slice this thing up and get it all ready to make some sandwiches let's get this thing cut in half we see what the reveal is going to be. I actually sharpened my knife this time. Unlike the, uh, the the bacon video, I forgot to sharpen it, and that kind of sucked. But that, this time I sharpened it. But here's what we got. Look at that beautiful pastrami. It is just gorgeous. Got a little bit of a smoke ring around, mostly on the bottom. But man, this is gonna make some really good slices. Now I am going to, let's see what direction am I, yeah. I'm slicing it into short slices because this is gonna be sandwich meat. this big boy. No, we'll play with that one. I got these other ones sliced up and vacuum wrapped a little bit later. Let's see what these slices are going to look like. Look at that. That's beautiful. Another one. Really good pastrami. Just perfect.
there you have it right there some good brisket pastrami cured for seven days smoked for 12 hours i'm gonna get this stuff wrapped up sliced up wrapped up and in the freezer so i can enjoy a really good pastrami sandwich every few days or so hope you enjoyed this video uh, i got some more stuff coming Actually, I got quite a few videos actually in the works right now, but they're coming. If you haven't subscribed yet, I sure would appreciate it if you did. And I'll see you on the next video.